You're listening to Into the Smoke, hosted by Patrick Harmon. Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for wa- listening to another episode of Into the Smoke, hosted by me, Patrick Harmon, every week. Yes, I said every week. I try to get these out every week on Wednesday, but guess what? This is not Wednesday. It might not even be Thursday for you guys. I'm so sorry for that. Um, My computer was giving me some hassles, and I beat it up, and eventually it got beat up pretty good. So, it's working now, I'm hoping, and um, got this thing going good. So, uh, last week, we were at um, Walkins Glen, and there was some there was some beating and banging. Um, I really don't know what to say about that. Um, Kyle Bush wasn't having a good day. I know that. He did not want to have everybody else have a good day, too. Um, he, uh, uh, one of the things was happening last, uh, last week, uh, him and, um, Brad Keselowski got into it, and it was totally his fault, but he blamed it on Brad. And if you, what happened was, um, Brad, um, what, what, he was uh, coming up on Brad, and he, he was coming up on Brad, and uh, I guess somehow he thought he was, he was all cleared from Brad, um, so either he was cleared from Brad, or Brad thought he was cleared from Kyle, and Kyle Bush just zoomed past, went past him, and I think Brad kind of like wiggled a little bit to make a turn. Kyle did, did not realize that Brad did not know he was there. And what ended up happening is that, um, is that, like, they, they got in a little beef up and all that stuff. He got mad, and in Kyle, Kyle Bush fashion, he blamed it on everybody else except himself. And it's really not Brad Keselowski's fault because if, if you know anything about those vehicles, you cannot literally see right beside you because of the head. Restra- basically had restraints um, because if you ever get in a wreck, you don't want he- your head to go side to side or back back and forth. The Hans device does the back, like, you know I mean, the, you know I mean, if you're, you know I mean, kind of like the, I don't know, what, you, what do you call it? Oh, oh, um, I think, it, what do you call it? The uh, whiplash. The Hans device kind of stays, like, helps you with the whiplash and then the, 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 seat, the seat itself Will help you with the side to side, from like if you like to say you know what I mean kind of the yes or the no like kind of the thing when it, when when you make your head say no, that kind of thing it'll make it'll make your head not do that. But in in return, you cannot see anything. You cannot look to the left. And you cannot look straight to the right. And obviously Kyle Bush was too too close to his left that he cannot see that. And, but Kyle Bush blamed it on him, and he went over and, uh, he got mad at him, like, and all that stuff. Um, and then I saw on Twitter today, or I saw a video or whatever, sitting there and, like, how Kyle Bush is, like, replying to all these people on Twitter. It's like, that's your, that's your consideration of fun, to reply to everybody on Twitter and be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna stick up all my parts. Like, one was, like, um... Why didn't like? Oh, I'm crybaby. I'm I'm gonna like. They're like, I'm Kyle. Like, in the, they're 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 saying they're 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 Kyle Bush and oh, I'm a crybaby and I'm gonna run away from the the cameras. Like he said, oh, NBC wasn't there to, um, they have to be there for me to make a make get an interview. And I was like, so why are you like if you if you really if you really have you know what I mean if you really think you have the balls then don't don't um. Don't reply to people. It's like it's pretty funny when he's sitting there and be like blah blah like, blah 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 and to every single person's tweet. It's like I think it's really funny. I think he was really like he was like I think he really found out what his what what happened there. But um um but uh um I guess I forget why I put these um the, the um these notes down but. I guess, um, I guess Jamie McMurray had a bad, uh, pit stop. 
ended up being like 44 or so seconds long. And um, I wrote down here too on my notes that um, it said there's only two rules about pit stops. One, if you're on a green pit stop, you go fast. You don't want those high numbers on a pit stop, especially on green, because you want to pa- you at least want to get before the leader. So if if you're you know what I mean you want to make sure the the leader you get out before the leader. And then the two, and this is where a lot of crew chiefs are getting wrong. A lot of crew chiefs are going wrong on this. Make sure all you get all five on every single tire. Last couple pit stops. Because if you don't, you're going to get, you better check your bank account. Because you know you're going to get fined. It's stupid when I hear every week, oh, we, we, I mean, blah, 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 got fined because a couple lug nuts got loose. It's like, why don't you check those then? You know? And then, um, I guess, uh, and then Junior, Junior, um, had a valve, Valve, I believe he's, and they ended up saying it was a valve cover. Valve covers, um, it was leaking, I guess. And, um, or something. It was a major, um, engine issue. Because if it was a valve cover, I'm pretty sure that those engines are still somewhat, they're not fully electrical, so I'm pretty sure they can, um, get around. But, um, that was around 20 laps in. And, um,. I'll get back to him in a little bit about when I get into um, the um, the chase, but um, but then uh, K- uh, Kyle Busch also got a um, lug nut stuck in um, stage one, which was pretty funny actually, and I think I, I think he needs to blame himself first, and then when he gets back on Monday, then he can say. In his own personal time, then he can blame everybody else. Like, hey, you, we need to get this we, meaning we as a team, because you drive the car, but then you have a whole team. And we found that out a couple weeks ago, or a week ago, or so ago, that um, your team is a little bit bigger. And um, we're going to touch on that again, too, um, my um, my extended um, thoughts on that. But um, it's like, you need... You need to keep your private thoughts to yourself until once you, once you well you know, I mean your team thoughts to yourself until you get back to your team because you know, I mean putting down your team like if I worked for his team and I got put down all the time I would go back to my boss either if I have a boss lower than JR uh, uh, JGR I mean I mean yeah I mean lower than JGR that reports JGR or whatever. I would go to my boss and be like, "Hey, like, I don't like this. I, I think, I don't think the driver is higher than me. Like, we are as a, we are as a team responsible for this loss or win. Obviously, if you're not first, you're technically last because there's, you know, I mean, 39 or 40, 41 cars behind you. I mean, so if you're not first, you're second to 39 to how many cars?" So, but Kyle Busch shouldn't really be sitting there and be like, blame everybody else. And I, th- I think it's being a, becoming a point that a lot of people don't want to interview him because of how he is. And I, you know I mean, it might, it, might, it might start something too. You never know. And they don't want that on their, um, you know, they don't want that on their, um, um, you know, their, their media or whatever. Um, even though it's NASCAR themselves, which uh, NASCAR hires NBC to produce a, a content for them, but um, some really good news coming out of, uh, I guess coming out of Daryl Wallace Jr.'s um, media. I don't know why I say it like that. Coming, come, um, Daryl Wallace Jr. is coming back. Um, he is coming back to racing. He uh, has been away for a while since he. Uh, he uh, raced for uh, um, Al Murillo in the um, his car for a while while he was in on medical, um, but he's coming back. Uh, he's gonna come. He's gonna be coming in a Chevrolet Silverado. Um, 
actually, I believe it's um, this week. Yep, I believe it's this week. Um, and like I said, like I, like I put in my notes, and don't take, and, um, if anybody's listening to this um, that might think take this in a bad way, please don't take this in a bad way, but I really do give them a hand for not being a picky person because I believe there's might be some people out there that like that think oh I'm rich enough that I am, I, am, I I drive for I drive for Toyota so I'm this really you know what I mean I'm not gonna drive anybody else except Toyota you know what I mean just like he's um his you drove over I believe he drove for uh I believe he drove over for Roush back in the Xfinity series once when he was first started out this year but um I be I like I'm you know I mean like I said don't if you please don't take the wrong way it's a really good thing that like I think more driver I, f- I feel like there's some drivers out there that if they would lose a ride and they come back and I need to talk about that too <laughs> there's if you guys caught my drift um I think they would be very I think there's some drivers out there that are really picky about um or about that but um on the realm of drivers losing something there's two drivers now very high drivers in the realm of NASCAR that are now without a ride I heard I heard that supposedly Hendrick is helping one but I do not know if he actually has got him a ride or not I did not see on the news yet or anything like that um I have not seen it yet, or anything for that matter. The biggest one so far is well, it's Matt Kenseth. Man, I I just drew, drew a blank. Um, and Casey Kane. Um, I really thought that Casey Kane would, um, I, w- I really thought that Casey Kane would, um, stay at Hendrick. I really did. And, um, when he won, I believe he won at, uh, man, I don't know where he won at. Forget exactly. But I believe, I, I thought, um, I really think that thought that when he won, I thought he would stay. I I thought he would. I thought that would um, lock him in to Hendrick. I don't know if that is a it's his personal decision, or if it's a business decision like Matt Kenseth was. (laughs) But um, supposedly they're saying that um, Rick Hendrick is helping helping um, Casey Kane with. To secure a ride in 2018, they're talking about that. Um, um, that he is uh, to possibly secure the ride. Um, that the ride could have an affiliation, possible technical alliance. Um, right there, it's saying that it is not. Um. And I'm I'm very highly expecting, you know. I mean, I'm very putting a very high expectance on this. It is not Stuart Haas Racing because it says they're going to have a technical alliance with Hendrick Motorsports if this ride would go through. William Byron will be taking over him his ride in 2018. Um, but uh, it doesn't say too much. Um, I just, I, I don't think it's a good time for cup drivers. You know, if a cup driver, I know, I know the whole situation with, um, Menard and everybody else over, over in that end of things was going pretty good, but that was just a sense of like, they were transferring around. When you get, just get like cut off, be like, Hey, we're, we gotta let you go something like that it's totally different and with junior leaving pretty soon 
you know, and his ride already with um with his ride already gone, like I mean his ride and all that stuff with Byron and his and Junior's driver, they're both coming from Junior Motorsports. Byron tra is co transferring exactly from um Junior, um and um and uh. I don't know. And then Matt Kenseth, I he still, he still hasn't. He, they haven't came out with very much news about him at all. Um, and Bowman, I should say, yeah, Bowman. Um, Bowman, I believe he raced for um, Junior for a while in Junior Motorsports over in Xfinity Series for a while before he transferred over to Hendrix. Um, um, he does some um, technical racing for them both in the sims and other um things for uh basically for their um their um what do you call that um some like basically like their their um their basically their um what was I gonna say but uh their um I don't know, like basically, like their 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 research, yeah, the research and development. That he basically work, helps out with their research and development for drivers and all that stuff. And now that he's moving on, maybe it pays enough for. You know, I mean, maybe it pays enough for Casey Kane, and he might transfer over there. I don't know, but um, it's not a good time for um. It's really not a good time for um, uh, Cup drivers. It's a really good time for Xfinity drivers, but we already know that. We know that Xfinity drivers, like every few years, they can have a good chance to transfer over. You know, with Chase Elliott, and then Ty Dillon transferred over a year. You know what I mean? Ty Dillon transferred over last year, or a couple years ago. Um, yeah, he, Ty Dillon's. You know what I mean? Been here for. You know, but he, yeah, I, no, he transferred over last year. Um, but uh, it's just you know, it's not a good year for um. You know, I mean, they drive good years, but it's not a good year with good years on you. You know, they need. I think, I think these uh, I think they you like. I think you really need to lock yourself in to the chase, and like, and if he wins the chase, then yeah, it's. I, I know everybody's been talking on the on the on the races too. It's like, oh, if you, you know, what I mean, like if you log your child, if you win the race and all that stuff, or you log yourself and you, you know, what I mean, move forward and make a good like standing and all that stuff, you'll you'll stand out. I was like, yeah, but you're, you know, what I mean, they should already know what, what your standings are. You know, what I mean, your stats are your stats. It's like any other sport. I mean, your stats are already on the table. They shouldn't be looking at your stats. I mean, like for this year, they should look at your stats for all your years. Come on, it's like I hate when they sit there and like. It's like yeah, cool. Like, but you're. But I do understand you're only good as your last race. You know, I understand that. But to say that like they, you need to look at your stats and all that stuff, like you, you, you like do all this stuff. It's like. It's like you, they should they shouldn't be looking at that. They should be looking at everything. Because look at um look at um look at everybody else. Look at all the chase drivers. They're coming in. You know, why wouldn't you know what I mean? Why wouldn't um well, they're not they're looking at their stats from last year probably. They're not looking at their stats for this year. But um um the uh 2018 Xfin or Cup car. Sorry, I got I got confused because I don't understand this really. I don't know if they're going to be coming out. They didn't say for sure, but I I don't know if they're going to be coming out with a brand new Xfinity car because of this. But C Cup cars in 2018 are going to have a Camaro. If you're a Chevrolet. It's going to have the 2018 ZL1. Why would you want a 2018 ZL1 if the old ones are... Like, the old one, the Xfinity series is going to have a ZL, like ZL1 then too, right? 
unless if the twenty eight like the, the, the Xfinity series is gonna have something different. It's kind of weird. I just I don't understand it. So um, but uh, but yep, they're gonna be over at um Michigan and Mid Ohio. It's um a track in Ohio. I think that's the only ex only uh NASCAR track that um um. NASCAR track that we are going to at this moment in time in Ohio, I believe. I, I don't think there's another Ohio track that NASCAR goes to. But, um, yep. Um, so now we're going to be talking about, um, Chase. Our little, this is going to be our little, our last little section before I let you go, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, so Chase, um, before we start on Chase, um, chase drivers, chase whatever you want, whatever you want to start talking about. We're going to talk about the schedule. Um, before Chase, obviously, we're not going to talk about it. oh, we're going to blah blah blah. Um, we got Michigan coming up tomorrow. Um, on thir on Sunday, Sunday is going to be the uh, Cup Series race. Then we got Bristol, Bristol Motor Speedway, and then we got Darlington Raceway. And then we got Richmond. Richmond is the last race, our last lock-in race. Last chance to get points. Last chance to get. Um, it is also a night race, by the way, too. It's my um right after my birthday. It's a Saturday race. My birthday is on a Friday. So um um I might actually do it on a Friday then. My might my, might do my my I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do on my day, but um like I said uh, Richmond is the last day, I mean the last race to lock in points to win a race to do anything to get yourself in the seat of a car that is not only a car racing in Chicago Land Speedway, but is a sh car. That has a shot to win the Cup Series Championship. So you have to do everything from now until then. I understand where people are coming from, where like they're saying like, "Well, we should have been, do we should have won a race by now," but you can't win a race when you got all these other drivers. Racing for the same race, racing, trying to win the same race. So we got some races to go. Michigan, I don't know. I, I I believe like I heard like everybody's got the same drivers they pull all the time. I know there's a bunch of drivers, and we'll get to them in a second. That need a win. Like they're like they're they're there's a pretty good chance that they're not gonna win. There's there's a a hundred percent chance they're not gonna win. Without getting, without, I think, without getting into, um, without, without, without winning. They need, they, without point, they can't do points. Bristol, it's Bristol, baby. <laughs> it's Bristol, baby. Like, like, anything can help. I, I'm pretty sure anything can happen in Bristol. Darlington, I don't, like, I'm, it's, it, I haven't seen too many things yet about Darlington. I haven't seen it too many times. So, um, um, and it's a, I think it's the holiday race. It says 6 p.m. on a Sunday. So, uh, I just realized that. So, I'll have, to, I'll have to look that up if it's a holiday race. It might be, actually. So, I might not be able to watch it all the way. If it's all the way. So 6 p.m. on Sunday. It might end at like 12 o'clock like the last night race happened I'm pretty sure I am yeah I'm pretty sure the last night race happened and the last six or cup race happened it ended like one o'clock in the morning and I was like geez I ain't gonna stay up so I just kept it running and fell asleep but but and then Richmond like I said it's the, the last last race of the lock-in you can't really do to, too much about it so why don't we talk about our drivers I have actually have a win. We got Trucks Jr., Johnson, Kyle Larson, Brad Kozlowski, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., K 
Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Bellini, Kurt Busch, Ryan Newman, Casey Kane, and Austin Dillon. Those are the drivers that have a win that are locked in for show. Now, there is three, er, yeah, three drivers that are lock, not locked in, but there's a pretty good chance that they're either going to be locked in with points or with, you know, I mean, potential win. But if we have different winners throughout the next few races, they might knock these people out. And these are Chase Elliott, Jimmy McMurray. And Matt Kenseth. Okay, so those are the three drivers right now. They're on the basically, basically, the the what do you call it? The winless bubble. I want to call. It. I guess I want to call it the winless bubble. They are on the positive side, positive side, but we uh, can't. But we probably can't rule those people out. Now the people that are on the negative side and definitely probably are pretty close to it. But there is a few drivers. Only one I believe right now is on the um that could probably could potentially he thought he could he could and I I really I really want a you know what I mean the one that I thought could win with uh, he thought he could win on points and now it's not looking like it. Is Clint Boyer? I think he should try to win. Obviously, everybody's going to try to win on this side, obviously. But you gotta, you gotta try harder. Um, Clint Boyer is definitely a winner from either Michigan or um, Bristol. I'm really hoping Michigan to see it early. But um, Joey Logano, he has a um, a, t- a a technical cutoff. Because he, um, or however you want to call it, they call it um, some crazy name. I'm just going to call it technical cutoff. Because he uh, uh, failed um, post-race, um, actually, um, um, R&D Center. So he uh, does not have a win, but there is a win on his on his list. So he is on the negative side. Um, Daniel Suarez and Eric Jones are on the negative side. They probably need a win. Trevor Bain, Paul Menard, and then you got down to really low, who is going to be leaving the full time Cup Series racing at the end of this year. You got Dale Jr. He's had a lot of problems. I just told you about the uh, problem he had with the um, with the uh, with the uh, um, engine problems and all that stuff, and he ended up going out at like lap 20 he really needs a win he was just like he was just like Tony his last year he needed a win and guess what he got it actually it was this week it was you know I mean this last week at um you know I mean at uh the Glen I remember when he got it too they they didn't talk about it either they talked about a thing before but then they didn't ever talk about it when when they actually was talking about all the winners and then the only name that really sticks out just because I, I see her a lot in the you mean my head because I want all the Struda Haas to go up is Danica. And um it's not working. I think I think be, uh, with Boyer never not knowing anything about these these uh this different type of car and with Danica not having that much knowledge, but I I believe she said she was working a lot harder this year. Especially with transferring over this new setup and all that stuff, I think she will get a better chance next year. Um, I believe Boyer has a good chance right now, but he's such he's such long in his career that I really want him to get a a, a, a championship soon. And I believe he uh, I don't know if he has a championship yet, but um, I could look it up actually right now too. 
I do not know if he has a championship. But, uh... I do not know, though. Um, I am going to look it up for you guys, though. But, um, it's just, you know, it's like, I, um, yeah, I just saw another thing by, um, um, Kevin Harvick's, uh, um, his, uh, yeah, Kevin Harvick's, um, Yeah, I do not believe he has a championship. Oh, you, I know how you can see it real quick. It's on his jacket. Let's go over here and um, let's go to current picture. There is his poor picture. No, he does not have a championship. But um, uh, what was I talking about about the whole um? But, um, oh, I did see a thing on Kevin Harvick's, um, crew chief's, uh, thing. It was just a thing, how they, how he, he had some stats on a, on a spreadsheet. It wasn't, like, anything, like, drawn out or anything. It was just, it was just two things. And it was showing how the four was really good one year, and I believe it was in 2015, and then the, the 78 was really good this year, and how... I believe 2015 was when he won the championship, and he's basically showing that he could potentially win the championship this year because of how good he is. He's got how many, um, I gotta go into NASCAR again, man. I wanna really, I, I really wanna finish this video out for you guys so you guys don't get super mad at me that this is way too long, but, um, I just wanna look one more thing real quick, but I wanna, I wanna see how, he, how many... How many uh, playoff points? He has 34 playoff points. The next driver down, which has won championships more, is Jimmy Johnson. He only has 16. And then down right below, he has um, Kyle Larson has 13. And then Brad Kozlowski also has 13. But he has 34 playoff points. I mean... I don't know what that whole means. I don't like, you know what I mean? But it definitely doesn't mean a bad thing. And I definitely, it definitely, because those are, you know I mean, those are points, I believe, yeah, those are definitely, playoff points are definitely, they said, they said those go all the way to the, um, go all the way to the, uh, you know what I mean, the, uh, the, uh, the end, basically. So, like, the, you know, I mean, the last race in Miami. Um, so, it's like, I don't know, like, like, there's a pretty good chance that it's going to be a Toyota this year because of, you know, I mean, but next year, that could probably change because of what's happening with, like, with how Stuart Haas is changing again, you know? When they first opened, yeah, I mean, not a lot of drivers, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, did, don't know too much, but, like, I, I did know that, um, I did know that, uh, yeah, I mean, Ke um, Tony won their first championship, and then, um, Kevin Harvick won their second, um, so, and, um, they're definitely, um, they're definitely say they're not saving. I know that for sure. <laughs> Hopefully, nobody says they're saving anything because they're not. They're trying. I, I believe they're sa trying their hardest. But um, hopefully, hopefully either Clint Boyer or I mean Kevin Harvick or um Kurt Busch um Kurt Busch uh um 
stays up there in points the whole time and um, finishes it off strong and possibly wins the championship for Stuart Haas Racing. So, anyway, guys, um, try to start. Sorry for keeping this so long, but I wanted to make this video a couple days ago. <laughs> well, on Wednesday for me, which was yesterday for me. <laughs> and um, I wanted to get it all set up and ran out and all that stuff, but it didn't work that way. But it's going out. It's it's going to get set up and ran out for you guys as soon as it's done. With that, guys, I'm done. So, if you guys liked this podcast, why don't you guys uh, like that? Click the like button. If you like, if you want to share it with your friends, click the share button. And then, if you guys want to see all the videos, or like the videos that are on this channel, so all the podcasts or anything else I do before everybody else, so you can see it as soon as it comes on. Click the bell, and it will. It'll just like give you a notification as soon as it comes up, and there's gonna be a bunch of links in the video. Um, one of them is gonna be an email address. If you have any questions, you have any concerns, if you wanna um, contact me, I do still don't. I still I, I don't mind if if anybody ever wants to do an Into the Smoke episode here in my um, Into the Smoke headquarters. Um, don't mind if anybody ever wants to do that. If you're uh, local to Fort Wayne. Um, that is the email address you do con contact um, now because I did ch set it up so I can I ha have an email address for this channel. And um, if you guys like my videos, um, go over to my other channel, which is going to be linked on this channel. And that's a gaming channel. And hopefully I will have another uh, video out coming soon. That was due to um, not having a computer either for a while. So hopefully you guys like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.